Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how I put together a decal in Cricut Design Space and also how I apply the decal. And sorry, I still have a cold. I've had a cold for about three weeks now, so I sound a little congested in this video. So I am going to go to upload and I am making a decal for my son's uh, preschool teacher. So I am going to click insert image and this SVG I found online and I will link that in the description box below. I was going to make one, but then I found a free one. So I thought that would be easier. So now the one that I want to use is this one here. So I am going to click ungroup and then I am going to delete the other ones that I don't want. So I'll just select all and delete these. And then now I am going to click on text and his teacher's name is Miss Kathy. And the font that I'm going to use today is Blackjack, I believe. Yes, Blackjack. And then I am go just going to ungroup these and weld them together. I like to make the text bigger just because it's a lot easier to weld it together when I do that. So just going to hit ungroup and I am just going to put these uh, like cursive script letters together. Here. So then I am going to select it all and click weld. Then I'm just going to make this a little bit, oops. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger while I am working with it. So, so when I was looking at my uh, SVG here, when I moved this, it had the red part with the leaf and the stem here. And I don't want that there because I already have this. So I was trying to think of the best way to delete it and it doesn't have the contour option and I was just trying to think how to do this. So this is just the way that I did it. Um, there probably is another way. Um, if there's an easier way, easier way, comment and let me know, but I will show you how I decided to do this. So what I did was I selected all of this and I hit duplicate and I just slid this over. And then what I want to do is slice this here so that I could get rid of it. But to be able to slice, you have to have only two layers. So I want to weld these two layers together so that I will be able to slice. So I'm just going to select both of these and I just use control on my keypad. And then I am just going to hit weld. And when you weld it together, it makes it all one image. So that is why I duplicated over here so that I will have these pieces. So I'll be able to use two different colors. I hope that this is making sense. But so now I have this welded together. So this is one layer and you can see that it's one layer here. And now over here, this is all grouped together. The, the top and the bottom apple is grouped together over here. So we want to ungroup it. And then we want to take this top uh, apple, which is one layer, and we want to weld it together with this leaf and stem. So here's the leaf and stem, which is one layer now. And then we want to select the top apple. Oops, if it's going to let me. Ah. Here, you know what I'm going to do is just select both of those. And you can see over here that both layers are selected. So now I can hit slice and then now I can get rid of this and get rid of this. So that gets rid of that red piece there that I didn't want. So I'm going to delete these over here. So now I have the stem and the leaf over here so that I can have the two different colors. So I am going to select, uh, select both of these and then I am going to group those together for now. And then I'm going to move it over here and oh, there we go. So then, oops, oops, let me move this back over here. Okay. So we have that together. So now we can delete this and now what we can, uh, now we don't have to have that red piece over there. 
So now we have all of our pieces. I'm going to move Miss, Mrs. Kathy in so that we can see it inside of here. The Y makes it kind of hard. I might just have to overlap the black vinyl over the red vinyl a little bit. Okay, so now that we have all of that, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to make it three inches wide. And then next, I am going to click on make it. And you can see that we have all our different colors here. And I'm actually going to go back because I want to attach these together. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I want to attach both of these. And when you attach both of the red uh, parts of the apple, then it'll show up just like that when you go over to your mat. You can see it's attached over here. So now we're ready to cut out all of our pieces. We have our material set to vinyl. I cut out each color vinyl on my Cricut machine and it prompts me on my computer which one is next. If you want to see how you can put all of the different colored vinyls on one mat and have it all cut out at once, then I will link down below my snap mat video sharing how you can do that. I start weeding out my vinyl. I love using this weeding tool. It makes it so much easier when you're weeding out your vinyl. I'm using a Dollar Tree mug and I just love looking at the Dollar Tree for blanks for the Cricut because you can find so many things there and everything is a dollar. I use this alcohol to clean off the surface before putting the decal on. This just helps it really adhere well and last longer. And if you don't have alcohol, you can also use soap and water. The transfer paper that I like to use is clear contact paper, and this is a shelf liner, and you can find this at Walmart for around $7. The Duck Brand contact paper works really well too, and also you can buy these off of Amazon, so I will link these down below. I peel off the clear adhesive and place it over my decal, and I rub it down first with my fingers. Then I grab my scraper tool, and I rub the transfer paper down really good with this. And I will link these Cricut tools below for you as well. You can buy them off of the Cricut website, or you can also buy it off of Amazon. So I will link these down below because these are extremely helpful when working with Cricut projects. Then I turn my decal around and I scrape the back of it with uh, my scraper. I've had troubles in the past getting my vinyl to stick onto the transfer tape, but someone commented on one of my older videos and suggested to rub the back as well. So I tried this and it is amazing how much this has helped. Then you start to peel away the clear transfer paper from the white backing and it should pick up the vinyl decal onto it and it helps to pull the transfer paper straight down and it'll pull up the vinyl. Then I place this on my mug. I lightly set it down at first to kind of position where I want it. Then I press down starting at the center and working my way out. This has helped me prevent bubbles and I press down really good with my fingers and I actually didn't have to use my scraper tool on this. Then I just start to pull away the uh, transfer tape and the vinyl should stay down on the mug. If the transfer tape uh, is pulling the vinyl back up, sometimes it's too sticky. So it can help to just set it on another surface a few times before you start working with your decal. Then I start applying the transfer paper to the other decals and then I place those on the mug. For this, I am just eyeballing it, but I do have a video where I show how I use registration marks to keep all of your different colored vinyls lined up perfectly, so I will link that down below as well. The vinyl that I'm using is Oracle 651. This vinyl is permanent and it lasts for six years. 
and you do not have to seal this vinyl at all, but it does take 24 hours for it to cure onto the surface. So I always wait 24 hours until I wash it or get it wet. And also when you're washing it, I always recommend to only hand wash and not put it in the dishwasher. And this just helps it last longer and prevents it from peeling up. And here I just wanted to show that I did not rub the back and you can see that it's not transferring as well so then I just turn it around and I scrape the back and it comes off a little bit easier. And here's how it looks when it's done. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful. And subscribe if you are new to my channel.